Hey guys, what's going on? I'm back with another useful and helpful video for all of you. So, to, in today's video, I'm happy to bring you guys your first impressions view of the OpenSea app on Android, and I think they have it on iPhone as well. So, finally, this is the first day that OpenSea has it out, has your mobile app for Android, and it's going to be the first time that I go through it and explore. So, let's get started here. Let's open up the app. So first of all, obviously you need to download it from Play Store. So I'm gonna go on the Play Store. After that, search Open C. So as you search Open C on the Play Store, it will give you a numerous apps over here. You have to click on this blue Open C NFT marketplace, and after that, you have to install it on your phone. I have already installed it. So let's get started. And here, let's open up the app. Now click on Continue. So OpenSea obviously is the biggest NFT platform out there and I'm happy that they finally have a mobile app because it's just going to bring NFTs more into uh, the mainstream and make it more accessible for people to find and to learn about. So right off the bat, I really like their homepage. Um, it's kind of like an explore type of page. It has all types of categories. If you scroll down, you can see here the collection that have been doing really good recently um hot new items so it's really good homepage here um now to connect your wallet where you go is right here on the profile i haven't connected my wallet so first of all you have to uh connect your wallet i'm gonna click on the trust wall okay and now it has been installed so we're just gonna click over here and i'm gonna click uh create a new wallet we just have to click on tick and continue after that i understand we're looking at rewards i won't be able to access my wallet continue yeah wallet was successfully created you can see that our wallet has been created and this was uh really easy so now we're just uh, gonna um send this so we're gonna go back to our app we're gonna click on the trust wallet and um, in this way, we'll just click on connect and our trust wallet will be connected to uh, our OpenCR will be connected to wallet connect. Okay, uh, save and leave. Okay, so now we're gonna go back. See, so our profile has been uh, connected to our wallet, and now uh, what we have to do is uh, that was the only thing that I did and I still haven't gone through the whole app or anything like that. So to connect to your wallet, just click on profile and it I mean this is amazing because now we don't have to use our computers, right? To like our NFTs or use a browser on our phones. We have an app for that. We can finally see our wallet. We can see what we are collecting, um, what we are creating, you know, where our favorites are and all that stuff. Uh, and what I like about this uh, too is that uh, let's uh, say you have an nft like this okay and you know you can share it really easily i mean just click on this icon which is after the like button over here and then after that you can simply just share on twitter and other places you can just make it a lot easier for people to like click on it and go to discover it and the app just feels amazing it feels really smooth um and i mean it's not that buggy i'm very smooth the more page okay so the more page is just basically a page about um open sea it has all their social media and all the stuff i kind of wish there was a settings page here to maybe you know just adjust certain things but there's not a setting page so maybe um they should uh, add that a settings page here so another thing too here is i wish in the profile page that they would add Add collections like your collections your projects your NFC project you see they only have collected or you know you can scroll down and see your collections or NFT projects the only way to see it is if you go to the search and you actually search it up so let me search up um, my collection here crypto yes and then I'm gonna write over here gallery okay and after that I'm gonna search it okay 
so boom right there i just search up here one of my collections and it's right here it would be awesome to have this in the profile page hopefully they can add that in the future so people can you know visit other people's profile and find their collection right in the mobile app but when you click on the collection um i mean it's pretty cool i kind of wish too they had like a filter or they actually do here right so okay here it is the filters option um and see the high to low to high they're pretty good it's basically the same thing as a website um so that's awesome i just kind of wish they had the uh, collections on people's profile but other than that the profiles are pretty uh, good another thing too uh, i wish is that they had a sell like uh, what that person sold right so you can click on it shows what that person sold so as you guys you can see what your nfts that you own here in the rankings i mean it basically shows the top nfts based on i guess the market cap how much it's worth all the nfts combined per the project so you guys can see your crypto punks number one and uh, uh, you can also change here the chains so from ethereum from polygon it's z run right chicken i mean i'm gonna click in the polygon so yeah as you can see it's z run right chicken thereby so you can also change um, all the categories of from here so i love this because it shows all the collectibles trading cards virtual worlds domain names music you can change all the categories and find nfts in all types of categories so i like uh, that it makes easier for people to find you know nfts that they actually like and want to invest and so in going back here let me go on the home page then so on the top you can see in scrolls types of nfts here we got exclusive open c drops uh dropping soon there we got trending collections uh collections that are just trending um really really cool i like this because it makes it easier for people to get discovered here we got um the recent uh, rockets the ones that recently have been doing really uh good okay so then we got the hot new items so if you scroll right here so there are 100 items which are expiring soon so i guess they're on auction i guess so they're expiring and then there are the new top sellers are you, you able to buy nf Tees on this app let's uh, check it out right here so i just click on the nft and i don't think you're able to buy it kind of sucks right i don't think you're able to mint either so i guess this app is only to like view and explore but i really hope in the future that they can add uh, that you know buying and mincing already in the app that will be another huge step but i think at the moment um you can't buy nfts on this app you can only view them save them right favorites them share them um but you can't um and you can't buy on the app so yeah guys my first impression of the app is uh there's still a lot more to be improved uh, there's still a lot more things to add to this app's open sea to make it even better on um, the flow of this app is amazing it feels very slick uh, doesn't feel buggy or choppy or anything like that so that's amazing the home page is really good i like the home page it's different categories randomized um we got the rankings we got the searching uh we got the profile uh, the profile like i said add those things add your collections add what you sold all that stuff and i think that will make the profile page a lot better and then in the more the honestly the more is just really about them i think they should add a settings page you know to maybe change certain things in this app that would be amazing too this is a huge uh, step forward for the nft world and crypto world but there's still a lot of improvement to make with this app so i hope one of you open c developers are watching and hopefully Hopefully we'll add in the future for future updates for this amazing OpenSea app and if this video helped you guys so let me know in the comment section below also do not forget to like share and subscribe to my channel um till then take care